Okay, this demo try to show how to use R uh, to do distance uh, matrix based hierarchical clustering. So this I'm using an example of a distance matrix between four cities, and the four cities are shown here on Google Map: uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, Nashville, Tennessee, Birmingham, Alabama, and Atlanta, Georgia. And the distance between them can be described by the traveling, uh, the time traveled by cars between those cities. Four-hour drive between Atlanta and Knoxville. Two-hour drive between Nashville and Knoxville. Four-hour drive between Knoxville and Birmingham. Four-point-five-hour between Nashville and Atlanta. Two-hour between Atlanta and Birmingham. Three-hour between Nashville and Birmingham. Now, the this distance matrix is symmetric, so the upper triangle and the lower triangle, they will be exactly the same. Now, I read this distance matrix into R, and, and then, well, inside R you can show, you can see the distance matrix here. Uh, so the upper triangle and lower triangle are the same. And then I convert it into distance uh, object. The D is basically a lower triangle of this uh, distance matrix. And then I can apply hierarchical clustering to this distance matrix. And that's the clustering result based on uh, uh, the D distance matrix. The way to apply a hierarchical clustering, you can see it's uh, by default the method is called complete. Uh, not method is called the agglomeration method. It's basically how those uh, in, uh, individual leaves are grouped together be between large branches. So I found it for most biological examples that average seem to uh, be give more intuitively uh, result. So average is the method I often choose for biological data. And so here I choose the hierarchical clustering based on the D and then use the average method. There. And that's the hierarchical clustering result based on the distance matrix of these four cities. We have uh, Knoxville and Nashville uh, seem to be uh, closer to each other, and Atlanta and Birmingham seem to be a uh, bifurcating pattern. And that seems to make intuitive uh, sense if you look at this figure, and these two uh, seem to be closer to each other compared to this pair. Okay, and that is the end of this demo. Thank you.